What's up guys, Jade up here and today I'm going to show you how to collect all and save your projects so it can be opened on another producer's computer that's running the same version of Ableton as you. Uh, this is super key for all the collaborations, especially in this time where we're all in isolation and yeah, it's just a really good time to collab and work with other artists. So first thing you need to do is any plugins that you think the other artists may not have. Uh, for example, I got contact on this channel and not a lot of people have contacts, so what we're going to do here is over the side, right click, freeze track. And what that's going to do is just freeze everything in the place that it's in. You don't have to flatten it to audio uh, for the other person to open it on their end when they receive the project, as long as it's frozen. So that is the first thing that you need to do is go through and do that for most of your third party plugins that the other person doesn't have. Obviously just check with them first um, to save yourself a lot of time. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do, and this is the most crucial, is how to actually save this. So where a lot of people go wrong is they don't break the path and they save it into the same projects folder. So what you have to do is let's go save live set as. I'm gonna go out to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. Let's just call this uh, project for collab. Sweet. And hit create. And now I'm just going to hit save here. So that will save the project as is there, but that won't have all the data. So to make sure you have all the data in the project, that's when we go up to here and we go collect all and save. Have all these selected, yes, except for the bottom one. That's just factory pack, so that's like your built-in stock Ableton sounds. If you do have it selected, it's not a big deal. It just takes up a lot more memory. So that can be a little bit frustrating when you're downloading the project on the other end. So now I'm going to jump out to our desktop. And what we're going to do is right-click on this project for collab. And I'm just going to go down here and hit compress. So basically, we're just going to zip it up, and then I can chuck it straight in a Dropbox, send it to the other producer, and then we're well on our way with making this collab happen. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if this helped you out in any way, if you could drop a comment below or give me a follow on uh, YouTube, that would be amazing. Uh, anyways, guys, till next time, work hard and stay creative.